This bench test assembly shows the action of the CIMIOC signal in a tube with mucus simulant. On the left, a pump applies a flow of 60 liters per minute. The mucus does not move. On the right, the pump applies the same flow with the CIMIOC signal superimposed. The mucus liquefies and gradually moves up in the tube. With the same volume of air involved, the mucus mobilization is amplified. In practice, CIMIOX acts on the expiration of the patient. We will come back to this in a dedicated chapter, but it is very important that the patient is comfortably installed and relaxed to fully benefit from the CIMIOX. The patient slowly inhales his tidal volume through his nose. A slow inspiration will help to diffuse the air in the lungs and to bring air behind the secretions. When the patient is ready to exhale, he activates the CIMIOX signal by pressing on the go button of the remote control. Small volume of pulmonary air are collected 12 times per second, which will move the column of air and generate some very short pulses of negative pressure in the bronchial tree. The intensity of the signal increases as the pulmonary volume decreases during the exhalation. This succession of negative pulses of increased intensity diffuses in the bronchial tree a vibratory signal which acts on the rheological properties of the mucus to reduce its viscosity. The liquefied mucus is simultaneously transported from the peripheral airways to the central airways to be then naturally expectorated by the patient. A typical CIMIOC session consists of three to five cycles with six to 10 expirations per cycle, with a 45 seconds pause between each cycle. The number of cycles and of expirations has to be adapted depending on the need and the medical condition of the patient. The patient does not necessarily expectorate his secretions at the end of the session. The expectoration can happen at distance of the CIMIOX session.